very much uh, for being here today. Um, you know, women are often not given the same opportunities to learn and succeed. We're often uh, not paid the same for our work. Uh, we're led to believe men need to be in control of our workplaces, our households, and even our own bodies. And in the past three years, state houses across the country, politicians have enacted more than 200 bills about women's health care. Those bills focus on what we can and cannot do about a pregnancy and what decisions we can and cannot make about our own health care and our own bodies. These bills are very hard on women, especially in Ohio. This Ohio legislature has been on the forefront of restricting access to care for women. Think Progress says that our targeted regulation of abortion provider laws, trap laws as they're known, are the most stringent in the country. Cosmopolitan Magazine says Ohio is a breeding ground for some of the nation's strictest anti-abortion laws and referred to the state as an incubator for the kinds of restrictions increasingly put into play nationwide. That's not the kind of leadership Ohio women need. It shouldn't be this difficult to be a woman in Ohio. The restrictions we've seen in the last couple of years put politicians between women and their doctors, and that's no place for us to be. It violates the doctor-patient relationship, which should be held in the highest regard. How can we say we're protecting women if we interfere in the relationship she has with her doctor and other medical providers? It's time to get politics out of our exam rooms. So I stand before you today to introduce the Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act. Healthcare providers have a professional and ethical obligation to provide care that is evidence-based, safe, individualized and medically appropriate. Yet, we continue to see laws that conflict with ethical and medical standards, potentially harming patient health, not making patients safer. This bill would protect healthcare providers who follow their professional and ethical responsibility and provide women with the highest standards of care. And it would ensure that no health care provider is forced to choose between following the law and abiding by ethical, professional, and medical standards. In addition, the Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act addresses some of the most egregious restrictions we've seen in recent legislative sessions. Mandatory ultrasounds. If an ultrasound is medically unnecessary for a particular patient, the provider cannot be penalized or held liable for exercising his or her medical judgment by not performing the ultrasound. Compelled speech, where the doctor must notify the woman of the presence of a heartbeat and tell the patient the statistical likelihood of the fetus being carried to term. Or criminal charges. Under House Bill 59, doctors would face criminal charges if they did not look for the fetal heartbeat. The Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act has the support of Ohio voters. How do we know this? In the fall of 2013, a national poll of more than 800 registered voters in swing states and red states, voters were strongly in support of ensuring that patients get complete, accurate medical information. A vast majority, 86% of respondents, felt that it is important for elected officials to work to ensure that all patients get complete, accurate medical information on all their health care options. A majority, 64% of respondents, favor legislation to bar the state from forcing doctors to provide medically inaccurate information to their patients. And a majority favor legislation to prohibit penalizing providers for giving standard reproductive health care including referrals or for providing accepted medical procedures consistent with patient needs and consent. This information held true across party lines. It's not about being a Democrat or a Republican. It's about being a member of a community that respects women, 
their health, and their rights. In the real world, women don't turn to for advice about birth control, cancer screenings, or other health care to their politicians. Politicians shouldn't be involved in a woman's personal medical decision about her pregnancy. We have no business playing doctor. The Doctor-Patient Relationship Protection Act puts the responsibility for health care back into the hands of doctors and their patients, where it should be.